Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for what's coming in March 2023. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is a general reading, so everything may not resonate with you, but take the messages that do and leave the rest. And thank you for being here. So let's see what's coming towards you, Pisces, in the month of March. This year is already flying by, and I can't believe it. I think in general, time just moves faster as the years go on. But I wonder if that's something that can be proven, you know what I mean? Like, is that just a theory, or is there a way to really prove that time is going by faster? Well, I guess the planets would let us know, right? I should look into that. All right, let's see. Oh, wow, death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or the, this is talking about some sort of ending, some sort of rebirth, ego death. Wow, tower, interesting. So the tower is also kind of a card that resembles Scorpio, but definitely the death of something, the ending of something, something breaking down so that something new and better can be built. So you could have Scorpio in your chart, but there's definitely also just a lot of changes are happening right now. A lot of things are ending so that new things can begin. We also have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of things changing because of a new relationship some sort of new relationship, a new offer is what is changing the course of your life right now. A lot of things are moving in a new direction because some sort of relationship, partnership, um, just definitely an offer here is kind of opening up doors for you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are also being very careful about your finances. You're you're very um, you're very focused right now on making sure that your stability does not get uh, touched. You know, you want to make sure that your stability does not um, get messed up with or messed with, interfered. You want to make sure that everything that is yours stays yours. So you're you're staying very close to the things that belong to you. Um, and you're very, very uh, savvy with your finances and with how you're spending your money. What are you doing with your resources? You're being very, very smart right now in terms of your stability and your foundation. But money definitely is also a topic. We also have the Hierophant. There's definitely a long-term commitment here that's really taking um, the the emphasis on these changes. A long-term commitment is starting to really create this new dynamic in your life. You might have to get comfortable with doing things a little bit different, differently for the sake of this long-term commitment. So if you have certain traditions or certain ways of doing things, you, you might see that you're going to have to change them as you go through this relationship. So it's kind of like when you move in with someone, right? You have to start to learn how they live and how to live with another person so i feel like part of this reading is kind of saying that you're getting comfortable sharing your space with another person but you're also trying to make sure that you stay true to who you are and that you don't lose yourself in love right because sometimes when we get in a relationship it's easy to lose ourselves in the relationship and to be so you know consumed by it that we kind of um lose a little bit of ourselves The chariot it could be definitely be dealing with, there's a lot of water energy here so of course this is a pisces reading but you could also be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart but there's definitely you know again this message of going in a specific direction going on a path going on a journey that is new that is exciting that is refreshing but one that is also filled with love there's a lot of love in this reading so whether you are in a relationship or not, you're moving in a direction towards something that is going to get you closer to love. So you already are in a relationship or in the very near future, what's coming in March is definitely focused on receiving and accepting and kind of um, mo moving 
you know, with that energy of what comes with love, right? So if you are in a relationship, you're starting to learn more about your person. You're starting to learn more about what it's like to be in this commitment, what it's like to, to you know, learn about their values. What, what are they into? What is their day to day? And how does yours kind of um, fit into that? You know, so the tower and the death card coming up here at the beginning could also be that this is the ending of you being alone, right? So this could also be the ending of singlehood, right? This could be the ending of um, a life where you are doing everything by yourself. This could be the, the end of a cycle where you were waiting for someone to see you for who you are. And now finally, things are changing in a way where you're being broken down, but in a positive way. You're being broken down emotionally in that you're being vulnerable. You're being willing to kind of let things take a turn in a different direction for the sake of love. So you're also letting go of control. Two of Swords. Yeah, there's there's some sort of um, kind of like, I don't know if it's an indecision, but there's definitely a kind of conflicting energy here. But I think this is just something that is happening because you're, again, going through changes because of a relationship. So sometimes we don't really know what to do with ourselves until we're more familiar with the circumstances. So maybe, you know, if you moved in with someone or if you're in a new relationship, you're still getting to learn more about this person. You're still getting to know more about the dynamic. And as you do that, you will be able to decipher, you know, which way to to go. Sometimes I think when we're in a new relationship, we, we kind of have this very awkward energy about us where we, we don't know if we should say something or if we shouldn't or if we're acting you know the right way so you could be doubting a lot of your 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 movements and your behaviors but i think that that's just natural because of the changes that are occurring wow so we also have the page of cups with the seven of pentacles i feel like whoever it is that is um your person whoever it is that you're dealing with whoever is offering this love towards you is kind of not sure sometimes if they are doing things correctly. I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's actually a lot more nervous than you think. They may act like they're calm, cool, and collected, but they're very, very um, worried that they're not impressing you enough. They're worried that they're not doing enough to make you feel like it's, you know, kind of worth it, I guess. So this person that you're dealing with really, really likes you. They really want to impress you. They really want to make sure that they're doing the right things. So with the Seven of Pentacles, I get that sometimes they may act a little funny, but it's not because they are, you know, a little off. If that's how you feel sometimes, maybe you feel they're a little bit like weird or, you know, you feel that awkward energy, but it's because they, they're trying to make sure that they're doing all the right things. So they may be doubting themselves as they're spending time with you, but they definitely are acting that way because they want to offer you love. They want a relationship. They want to be with you. And they don't know sometimes how to act. So they, they may act a little bit like shy or nervous. And if this is someone that you're not in a relationship with yet, this person is thinking of all the different ways they could possibly ask you out. So if you're dealing with someone that you like or that, you know, you know they like you, um, they're definitely going crazy in their minds about, you know, how do I say this so that they say yes or do I ask them this question? Like they're just, you know, going kind of a little crazy about you because they don't want to mess up. Yeah, Queen of Cups with the Moon. Wow, this is totally you just showing up in your own reading. You're in your element. You're in your power. This is your time right now to shine and to be yourself. I really believe that you are in a moment of just true awakening to who you are. I feel like you're walking in your truth. And because you're walking in your truth, all of these things are kind of happening for you effortlessly. So with the Queen of Cups and the Moon, this is kind of just confirming that not only is this your reading, Pisces, but you're doing everything that you have to do. But it's almost effortless the way that things are moving for you. Because with the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like everything that's happening is just part of your destiny. It's part of the, the path that you're on. It's part of your journey. You just kind of have to walk the walk. You just have to go with it. You really don't have much to do except just allow things to happen. You just have to allow the abundance to come in. You have to allow the love, you know, you have to accept it. You literally just have to go with the flow because everything is ending in order 
for you to move forward, in order for better things to come, in order for a new, better, um, you know, stage to begin. So you're definitely, definitely in your power, in your element. You just have to be accepting of the abundance. There's really nothing here that's saying um, anything that could possibly, you know, go in a direction that you don't want. Everything is moving in your favor. I think this is just saying, accept the love, accept this person, um, and just know that they're definitely, definitely trying not to mess up because they really want this to work out. So this is a beautiful reading. Um, it's it's very romantic and almost, almost innocent in a way. So Pisces, if this resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.